Hi right, everybody, I'm out in the garage here today. The weather is just beautiful. It's almost 70 degrees. So thought I would get out here and, and try and get some work done. Uh, this is on the 51 wheelies. I got the decals put on the wheels. They, they came out pretty good. I really like how they came out. They laid down nice and flat. And they look really good. I'm not, There's some other little pieces they had to put on there. I think there were some, some little directional arrows that go on the sides. I'm not going to put those on there. I think that looks good enough right there. Um, I wanted to show this because I don't like the shocks that come with any kits. So I've been struggling on the Henry J and the 55 Pro Street that I'm building and I come up with this. Let me see if I can zoom in here. That bottom one is what came in the kit for the uh, 67 Chevelle and that's a piss poor excuse for a shock so I thought I'd try and make my own so I found some round stock and those metal pieces they actually come out of my junk box back from my RC plane days um, and I think those fit pretty good and they might be a little bit big but they look okay uh, and I use the this wire I just let me zoom this back out again I use this telephone wire that I buy at the hardware store and I just cut a piece of that off, stripped the insulation off of it and wrapped it around that piece of plastic there. I think that simulates a shock coil pretty good. Anyway, if you guys make your own, uh, leave me a comment down below. Uh, how you guys make yours? You know, I'm interested in uh, making my own shocks from now on, but I want to see what you guys do okay I since the weather was so good today I was able to get some paint on the 51 Henry J <clears throat> now if you guys been following my channel I painted this this same color this is the to me is TS 56 brilliant orange I painted it here some time back uh, and it just didn't come out right there was the weather wasn't right, there was some wind, and it just didn't come out right. So I think this looks a lot better. It's got some orange peel in it. Um, I'm hope. let me see if I can, you can see it there. I'm hoping maybe a little bit of wet sanding and then some polishing will take most of that out. But I guess overall I'm satisfied with it. Um, it was about 65 degrees when I painted and humidity was down to like 26. So it was just perfect conditions and I primed this with this to me is white uh, fine surface primer which laid down really nice and then hit it with that uh, TS 56 brilliant orange and uh, like I said it looks okay I've seen videos of guys that spray this to me a rattle can stuff and they they say that it goes on and with no orange peel no issues whatsoever I can't get it to do that I don't know I've tried you know I'm, I'm holding the can eight to ten inches away and, and I've tried various ways to do it but that's about as good as this is gonna get I'm like, let's go over here man I'll show you I got all these painted parts on here here's the front end and you can see it's got it's got it's just chunky looking it's got orange it's got some orange peel in it and you know it, it'll probably it'll clean up pretty good but uh, I would just hope for a little bit better than that but uh, It looks all right, I guess. Here's one of the doors. But anyway, I'm not gonna repaint it. That's, this is the second time and the last time. So it's an old gasser anyway. It doesn't have to look perfect, but boy, I'd sure, I would really like to get a decent paint job on something. Boy, I tell you, um, I'm just waiting for the spring to pop Pop in here and stay here so I can get the airbrush back out. I've got all these old bodies up here that I'm going to use for uh, testing on some spray paint. Uh, you know, see what happens. But I just thought I'd give a little update on uh, where I'm at on the uh, 51 Henry J. I'm getting there. I got it painted, and here's everything else sitting over here, just waiting to waiting to finish her up. So um, I guess I'll give this a couple days to cure out 
and then uh, I'm going to hit it with the uh, Tamiya's TS13 clear, and then uh, I'll try and uh, wet sand this a little bit, and then uh, use some polish on it, uh, maybe the Novus, and the, and then my, some Meguiar's. But overall, I, I guess it turned out okay. I'm I'm pleased with it. It's it's okay. I like it. So, that's the update on the Henry J. All right, that's about it, fellas.